The Military Guide to Lose Weight Losing weight is no easy task, but with the military diet, the dream of losing a few pounds will turn into reality within just a few days. Before we plan out the three-day, three-course meal for you, let us tell you that the military diet is not something that is extensively followed in the Army. However, just how the military force requires dedication, hard work, and determination, the military diet will require you to be exceptionally determined in staying away from calories. While there are only three on days for the diet, the off days are in no way cheat days for you to enjoy calorie-filled meals. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and hit the notification button, or else the giant spider will come from under your bed while you are sleeping. Let's move on to the next one. Day one. Your first day will be a little easier in comparison to the rest of the week because of the calories your body has been carrying from yesterday. Your breakfast, which is the first meal of the day, is crucial. You will start the day with a cup of black coffee or caffeinated tea to give your metabolism the necessary boost. Next in line will be a single slice of whole wheat toast with two tablespoons of peanut butter on top of it and the first meal of the day with half a grapefruit. Lunch, the next meal of your first day, will include another slice of toast, half a cup of tuna, and of course, a caffeinated beverage. However, this time your toast will not be flavored as well as the breakfast toast because of the absence of peanut butter. If you are a vegetarian or wish to try this out as a vegetarian military diet, you can replace the tuna with half avocado and two hummus tablespoons. The last meal of the day is your dinner. No midnight snacking is allowed under the military diet. The meal menu will range from three ounces of any kind of meat, a cup of green beans, half a banana, and an entire apple. However, we are aware that desserts are a must, so a cup of vanilla ice cream is also a part of the menu. For vegetarians, replace the meat with tofu of any sort. Ensure that its calorie count remains less than 300. The first day ends here, with approximately 1,400 calories in your body. Day 2. One day down, two more to go. Your second day's breakfast will include a slice of whole wheat toast, an entire egg, and half a banana. The egg can be replaced with a half a cup of baked beans for vegetarian options. The second meal of the day will let you indulge in a cup of cottage cheese or a slice of cheddar cheese, a hard-boiled egg, and five saltine crackers. For a vegetarian option, one cup of unsweetened hemp, soy, or almond milk, along with half an avocado, and two tablespoons of hummus will do the work. The saltine crackers work for the vegetarian meal as well. Approaching the near end, the last meal of the second day will let you have two hot dogs without the buns, veggie buns for the vegetarians of course, one cup of broccoli with a half a cup of carrots, half a banana, and lastly half a cup of vanilla ice cream. Vegans can go for dairy-free ice cream. While we assume ice creams are loved worldwide, they can be substituted with apple juice or strawberry or banana flavored milk. With 200 calories less than your day one meals, the second day could be the testing point of your diet. Do not give up on it. Day 3. The last day has arrived. Begin the day with your black coffee or caffeinated tea. Next in line are five saltine crackers or five rice cakes. Either one, the choice is yours. You can even have half a cup of couscous or quinoa if you do not wish to have saltine crackers or rice cakes. You can then have a slice of cheddar cheese and bite into a small apple. Vegans can try out 15 to 20 almonds instead of the cheese. The lunch of day three has to be the tiniest one with just one slice of whole wheat toast and a hard-boiled egg. The egg can be replaced with a half an avocado and a spoon of hummus. With the last meal of your three-day plan, do not get a little lost by eating additional calories. This meal's plate will include one cup of tuna, half a banana, and an entire cup of vanilla ice cream. Half a cup of canned chickpeas can replace the necessity of an egg for vegetarians. The third day will have you feel tired and gloomy because of the reduced intake of calories at just 1,100 of them. But do not give up because from the fourth day, your calorie intake can reach up to a maximum cap of 1,500 calories. If you decide to start the three days on and four days off military diet, remember that it requires loads of self-control. The diet will be needed to be repeated until you meet the meals, the desired results. Ensure that all the vegetables included in the meals are either steamed, boiled, baked, or eaten raw. Do not fry any of the items on the list as they can spoil the entire purpose of the diet. Another point to remember is that calorie-filled seasonings must not be added to any meal, especially taste enhancers like sugar for coffee. They're a definite no-go.
While the diet plan is primarily for women, men can follow the same diet by adding extra 100 calories each day in the form of protein. We know days can be tough and personalities can get moody with the absence of food, but when you can get your desired look by a week of determination and control, shouldn't you grab it? Of course. Please do not give in to chocolates and pizzas after you get your weight loss because you will only have to repeat the entire process again. Count your calories and the need to count pounds will never arise. 